Hello, my name is Rebecca and welcome to the Engineering Pro Oil and Gas News Roundup. Here are the top stories. Leading Pakistani state-owned companies are set to partner with Saudi Aramco for the giant $10 billion greenfield refinery project at Gwadar Port. Pakistan's Oil and Gas Development Company Limited, Pakistan Petroleum Limited, Pakistan State Oil and Government Holdings Private Limited will all collaborate through a joint investment strategy in setting up an integrated refinery petrochemical complex with a crude oil processing capacity of at least 300,000 barrels per day. Greece's first offshore LNG terminal has been completed. Oil field services provider SAPEM completed the 24 kilometre long pipeline in the northeast of Greece, connecting the floating storage and regasification unit to the Greek National Natural Gas Transmission System. It is expected to start operations on January 1, 2024. Adnoc Onshore has awarded a $450 million EPC contract to Galfar Engineering and Construction Emirates for the installation of flow lines and well tie-ins at Abu Dhabi's Bab and Northeast Bab oil fields. Adnoc Onshore has divided the scope of work into 12 packages, including demolition and construction of infrastructure. The project is estimated to be completed by the end of 2027. Inata has successfully concluded the drilling and completion of another well in its drilling campaign at the Atlanta field offshore Brazil. Upon completion of all the phase one production wells, Inata claims to increase the production capacity potential to over 50,000 barrels of oil per day when the FPSO Atlanta begins production by mid-2024. Italy's engineering, drilling and construction services provider SAPEM has won two new ENC offshore contracts in Romania and in Germany with a total value of around 1.8 billion euros. While the gas processing platform will be fabricated at SAPEM's yards in Italy and Indonesia, the technological tests and analysis for the materials used in the project will be carried out in Romania through the firm's local entity in Plasti. And finally, drilling company Noble Corporation has been awarded a 10-month contract by Harbour Energy in the UK North Sea. The contract, valued at $28.5 million, is for an accommodation scope at the Judy Field, located approximately 130 miles southeast of Aberdeen. Noble's vessel, Noble Intrepid, will provide accommodation services for the project, which is expected to begin the fourth quarter of this year. That's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at NES Furcroft for your daily dose of engineering news, career advice and job vacancies. See you next time for our Engineering News Roundup.